Conspiracy theories. Love them or hate them, they are everywhere. It seems like every day there's a new one hot off the press ready to shake the very fabric of everything that we believe to be true. Sure, there are the classics like lizard people control the government. I am not a lizard. Or, you know, the moon landing is fake. <laughs> But what if I told you there's a conspiracy theory that the moon itself is fake? I mean, if that was true, then where did Wallace and Gromit go when they went to space to get some cheese for their crackers, huh? Were you telling me they faked that too? This is one of many conspiracy theories that I found with just a short scroll on everyone's favorite platform, TikTok. Seems like every day we're talking about TikTok. Every, every video, hey, something fucked up. We found something stupid on TikTok. Who would have thought? And that's what we're going to be talking about today. I have compiled a bunch of conspiracy theories. We're going to go through them. We're going to watch them and we're going to talk about them. I myself have been a victim to these theories in the past. When I was about 12, I stumbled across this YouTube video, which was like a VHS that was ripped and uploaded of a guy giving a seminar to a handful of people in a room about how Bigfoot was real and he was actually a part of an advanced civilization of nomadic people that lived in the mountains. This guy went into some serious depth. I'm talking, I'm talking diagrams. I'm talking drawings. I'm talking citing a book like about a hundred times being like, hey, it's in this book, man. But uh, but guess who wrote the book? He did. That is like me writing down on a post-it note, one plus one equals three, and then citing that as a reference. <laughs> that doesn't count. I know you can't count that. And I believed it wholeheartedly for about two weeks until I realized that that was fucking insane and there was literally no evidence that that was true. But that didn't stop me from uh, telling all my friends and and my my one uncle that believed it just wholeheartedly, and I, I think he still believes it to this day. There's really no surprises there. The first conspiracy theory that I want to talk about is the theory that Dora the Explorer Laura is actually blind. That's uh, that's the caliber of conspiracy theories we're going to be talking about today. So strap in. I figured I'd ease you guys in before we get into the more serious ones. You know, let's just have let's have a light and easy one to begin with. Dora the Explorer is actually blind, and Boots is her guide animal. Throughout the show, Dora never seems to look at what she's talking about. And I mean, I'm just going to stop you right there. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure I can I can literally see Dora staring at Diego right there. I'm not going to say that I've disproven it, but, uh, you know, I'm just I'm just saying. Observing some of the B-roll that you literally used in the video describing that she's blind, I can, I can clearly see her looking at who she's talking to. Hey, maybe I'm blind. Also doesn't blink. Dora often speaks directly to the audience, asking for their help to spot objects in her surroundings. <laughs> What? What is this? Why, why are they using AI photos of Dora with a fucking blindfold on? That's never happened. That has never happened in the show. I mean, in the show, if she was wearing a blindfold and a cane, then I'd be like, yeah, she's probably blind. Yeah, that's probably that's probably not a theory. I think there's some validity to this theory if uh, if she's literally got a blindfold and a stick. Why do they always have AI B-roll to support their claim? Can we just make a rule that if we're trying to talk about a conspiracy theory, Let's not use AI. That goes for the photos, that goes for the videos, and that goes for the voiceover too. I'm really getting sick of hearing that same monotone AI voice talking about every single conspiracy theory and using the same f***ing three TikTok spooky sounds. Okay, let's, let's switch it up, guys. Come on, let's switch it up. The map and backpack are also interpreted as specially designed tools to aid a visually impaired child. They, they aren't, though. Are they? When are they interpreted as specially designed tools to help a visually impaired child? It's a f***ing talking backpack and a map. This is an interesting theory, but I think there is one way that we can disprove this instantly. Come on! I think those two are planning something. Okay, well, I just saw Boots f***ing run off without Dora, so I, I, I think we can safely say she's not a guide pet. Just left her in the dust there. Hey, Boots put up a sign. Okay, and Dora instantly calls out what Boots is doing from like halfway across the park here. Don't know how she could have detected that uh, if she couldn't f***ing see that. So I think, I think myth busted here. I think Dora isn't oh. blind. I know a lot of you guys were thinking that maybe she was blind. You know, it's, it's a very con compelling theory that, hey, maybe Dora is blind. No, I don't think she's blind. I think we can pretty much put this down to it's a kid's show. Now let's get a little bit more serious. This next one claims to have captured a shapeshifter live on camera. I know, I'm just as eager as you to get to the bottom of this one. A shapeshifter just caught on camera live right here, 2024. A fucking shapeshifter, you can't be kidding me. <clears throat> Let's take a look. Check it out. Shapeshifter, right? That's what we're thinking. Okay, let's watch it again. This has been sent to me like 20 times for me to, you know, analyze it to see what I think. Keep watching. Pay attention. 
My brother in Christ, that is AI. This video goes for three minutes with him just breaking down exactly how this could be real. Granted, he does say at one point that this could be AI, but he isn't sure. And I'm here to tell you right now, that's definitely AI. I mean, I saw a little guy just appear out of that other dude's chest and just a floating head goes by at one point. I mean, what the fuck happened there? You can tell any of these videos are AI because they literally do this. I think this video here gives us a, a tiny little glimpse into what we have to expect in the future as AI gets better and, and there's a lot more evidence that can just be computer generated. It's a scary thing to think about because once we can't distinguish between what is real and fake, then how do we believe anything? I was trying to be like profound here, you know, have, have like a couple of good little quotes. Maybe, maybe those TikTok users could make it a sound or something like that. Uh, I don't know. Let's get back to watching the silly little TikToks. It's just a conspiracy theory. Space from Earth, space from space. No! Hey, I'm gonna be I'm actually gonna blow your fucking mind right now. Uh, that is not what space looks like from Earth. That is that is a long exposure photo, okay? You ever, you ever taken a photography course before? I have taken a photo like that before. Anytime I go outside and I look into space, it's practically pitch fucking black as well. I mean, you can take a photo of the galaxy yourself if you really want to. You just gotta, you gotta go out of the city so there's no light pollution from the city and you just take a long exposure of the sky. I have literally done this before. I have photos of the Milky Way that I have taken. I mean, it's not, what do you think? They just program that into every camera. You can do that. You can do that on anything. You can do that on film. You can mess up taking a photo of the Milky Way too. If you set your exposure for too long trying to take a photo of the Milky Way, you actually get a blurry photo and streaky stars because of the rotation of the Earth. I feel like just being able to do that alone disproves like any theory whatsoever on like uh, space isn't real. What we see, what you believe. Again, hey guys, guys, what are we doing here? What are we living on fucking little big planet over here? What are we doing guys? Look, I, I feel like I'm wasting my breath explaining this because I feel like everyone knows this. You can literally go out to the ocean, get some, get some binoculars on the shoreline and you can watch a ship come over the horizon line. Do you think, what do you think the horizon line is? If the earth was flat, I'd be able to see New Zealand from Brisbane. I mean, what's, <laughs> what? what are we doing? What are we doing? 100,000 feet with a fisheye lens. 100,000 feet without a fisheye lens. Okay. I don't think, okay. <laughs> I don't think it's a fisheye lens. We can see, you know, in the corner there, a piece of the, the space station and it doesn't look distorted at all. So I find that difficult to believe that that was a fisheye lens, but maybe I'm wrong. The globe only exists in cartoons and CGI. CGI is way cheaper. You think when I make Minecraft videos, I build a live Minecraft set every single time I want to put myself in Minecraft for a green screen video? No. I play the game for 20 minutes and I, I screen record all the places I want to be. It's cheaper to do it that way. Proof of Bigfoot? Proof of the globe. I'm 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 gonna be honest, I don't I don't actually know what this last photo is is trying to prove. I can't tell if it's on Bigfoot's side or if it's on that the globe exists side, because I mean, that, that photo of Bigfoot looks like Bigfoot ate Bigfoot and skinned him and wore him because that is the most obvious photo of a guy in a suit I, I think I've ever seen of Bigfoot. That's the most compelling evidence I've seen of Bigfoot being fake. And I was a guy that watched an hour long seminar of a VHS of a guy saying that Bigfoot is real. Clearly that one was about the flat earth theory and let's not, Let's not touch that one with a 10 foot pole at the moment. Okay, let's move Let's move on. Let's move back to something that's a, a little bit easier to swallow, a little bit easier to digest. Like the fact that mermaids are real. And this next video proves it. Mermaids are actually real. Yes, you heard that right. Keep watching to see the real footage. Spoiler alert, guys. I hate to break it to you. Um, there is no real footage Aww. at the end. They don't, they don't show any footage at the end. I know that's gonna hurt my retention time a little bit, telling you guys that there's actually no mermaid footage at the end, but but there isn't, so, sorry. A real life mermaid has just been spotted off the coast of Puerto Rico. A man named Paul Logan was out for a morning run along the beachfront of Dorado in Puerto Rico. A guy named Paul Logan, you reckon? And I can see here from the B-roll, that guy looks like Logan Paul. But I'm sure that's purely coincidence. I'm sure you didn't mean that. I'm sure they just so happen to look very similar to each other. But this guy looks a lot more like Logan Paul than Logan Paul does. He could see a figure, like a woman standing around 10 meters away from him in the water. She whispered his name. She was trying to hypnotize him. He grabbed his phone and videoed the mermaid before she kidnapped him forever. To see the video comment, I believe Paul. 
Oh my f***ing god, and there it is. And there it is. I believe him! Please show me the footage. Please! Oh my god, top comment is I believe Paul as well. Dude, every day, every day I lose a little bit, a little bit more hope for humanity. Just every day, just a little sliver just gets shaved off me. Surely no one said I believe Paul. Yep, there's one. Michael Jordan fan, top comment. I believe Paul, you son of a bitch. Someone under it commenting, that's a siren. As if you saw the fucking AI footage and you were like, ah, actually this story is incorrect. You mean it's a siren. I've heard the story of Paul Logan before and I know for a fact that you're actually referring to a siren, not a mermaid. These videos are everywhere and they, they annoy me so much because it's just an AI voice talking over what was probably prompted from ChatGBT, so it's an AI story with AI photos to back it up. And there are people in the comments like, I fucking knew it. People are finally talking about this shit. And you know what's crazy? You know what's fucking crazy? You know, I only discovered today, like before filming this video, there are videos out there now that make it sound like you're listening to a podcast, but it's two different AIs talking to each other and they tell a story and the other one's reacting to it and like starting off as like disbelief, like there's no fucking way that's real. And then they start telling the story and the guy's like, well, that's crazy. And they're both, they're two fucking AIs talking to each other, but it makes it sound like a podcast. So you're like, holy shit, Joe Rogan's talking about um, mermaids and he believes them. Oh, no way. <laughs> this video here is similar to like the ones that I was talking about on TikTok. I couldn't find an exact one of like two AIs talking together, but this gives you a good idea of, of just what we're, we're dealing with here. Now this is incredible. What if I told you everything you know about sleep is about to change? New discoveries by CERN states their large hate- Someone made that. Like someone sat down and put time in to make that. Isn't that crazy? Speaking of podcasts, and no, I'm not just about to plug the Wizards Tower podcast, my podcast with my friend Mitch, where we dress up as wizards and we, and we talk uh, about things. Apparently, wizards in Harry Potter don't use the bathroom. What? Harry Potter no, doesn't have a bathroom. I don't know if this is legit, bottle. though, because I feel like... <laughs> I feel like... Harry must not poop at school. <laughs> <laughs> There's two guys on TikTok that I, I'm assuming have a podcast. Maybe it's just a format for their TikTok. I'm, I'm really not sure. But they talk about conspiracy theories all the time. Every video is them being like, hey, did you hear about this conspiracy? And this video I found of them talking about a conspiracy is going to blow your mind. You think clocks are safe from the devil? <laughs> think again, buddy. Think again. Have you seen the theory about clocks? No. So when you look at a clock, it looks pretty normal. You never think anything of it. But what if I told you there's actually a really dark theory behind the idea of a clock? What? Right, and you go across the clock, across the way, you see like 11 and 1, it equals 12. 10 and 2 equals 12. 9 and 3 equals 12. 8 and 4 equals 12. 7 and 5 equals 12. And then 6 plus 6 equals 12. They all equal 12. What is it? <laughs> oh my god. Wait. Simple maths? Holy f Wait, what does that mean though? Well, also think about this. When you go diagonally and look at the numbers and you subtract it, like 12 minus 6 equals 6. 11 minus 5 equals 6. 10 minus 4 equals 6. Wait, wait, what is going on? But wait, if you look at this a different way too, if you look across, 12 plus 1 equals 13. 11 and 2 equals 13. 10 and 3 equals 13. 9 and 4 equals 13. It all equals 13. So what's the theory? You look at all the numbers, right? They all... It's just weird how you go different formulations and they all equal the same. That's actually kind of scary. Is that scary? Is is math scary? Is this what we've is this what we've come to? Hey, I know every time I would look at my timetable in school and I would see maths on there, I I would get a little bit scared because I don't like math that much. But is that really <laughs> that scary? Is this what we've come to with conspiracy theories? I could point at anything right now and I could make up a conspiracy theory. The, have you have you heard the camera theory? No, no, what's the camera theory? Anytime you hit the record button on a video camera, your image is recorded and then stored on the camera. Well, that's actually creepy. So you're saying there's a little me inside the camera? That's, <laughs> that's exactly what I'm saying. You ever think about, isn't that crazy? Isn't that creepy? What the f are you talking about? I'm only kidding. I just, I just think it's, it's just so silly. It's just so silly. The dark clock theory is basically like how, you know, when you, when you minus any numbers, they all equal six and like six is the devil's number. And that clocks were designed by the devil, uh? I guess, to worship Satan. Telling the time is worshiping Satan apparently. So I don't know. These guys are going to lose their f***ing minds when they find out about a 24 hour clock. You know how I was just saying like people are just choosing objects and making a conspiracy theory about them and, and pretending it's really creepy. Well, someone's done it for an iPhone, so <laughs> let's let's check this one out. Oh, it's so silly. I'm getting brain damage um, just watching this shit. The darkest conspiracy theories. 
I and iPhone stands for I, a word that starts with E. <laughs> oh my God. It is also secretly listening to your conversations. I think that second one's pretty well known by now. And, and yeah, I would tend to agree that is pretty creepy, but it's just kind of become a part of day-to-day -day life now. I kind of like it a little bit when I talk about something and it comes up on my algorithm a little bit later. I'm like, oh, I was actually... I'm actually glad that you brought that up. Thank you. I, I was actually looking for more targeted marketing towards me for that product. So thank you. I'm just kidding. It f***ing sucks, but uh, that, that, is, that is life at this point, unfortunately. What does Siri spell backwards? Siri backwards spells Iris. Oh my God. It, sta it stands for Iris. What does that mean? What does that mean? And if you look at the Apple logo closely, it represents the first sin. <gasps> oh my god! The the Apple logo is an apple? <laughs> what? Nothing, nothing is real anymore. I wanna disappear sometimes. Honestly. Honestly, I wanna disappear. I wanna disappear. This is Are we all just getting dumber? Like the, the longer that social media is a thing, are we all just becoming stupider? It's honestly, it's just sad. It's just sad when people believe stuff like that. Like that stuff is is just silly. That's not even like you're you're making things out of nothing there. That's just, it's just a silly thing to think. What is the dark iPhone? Con There's no conspiracy there. So it's so fucking stupid. Oh God. At this point, we've touched on a lot of things. We've touched on Dora the Explorer being blind. We've touched on mermaids. We've touched on the iPhone being crazy. And then we also talked a little bit about how the earth could very well be flat and that brings us to our next topic where we talk about how the moon is not real the moon is fake this is what daytime should look like if the sun was actually a star in outer space like they say it is the sky should still be quite dark oh what a beautiful day why let's go for why a walk it, here we are at like high that? noon I'm just basking in the brightness. Why? You ever look at the sky? The sun is quite small. So why would the mere presence of such a small star light up your entire sky blue? The sun is just a proximal star that's 95 million miles away, allegedly. Oh, ow, fuck. Oh, I think I'm getting a Fucking brain aneurysm. What are you talking about? Bring up one of those YouTube scales. Bring up one of those YouTube scales where it's like, this is the earth. This is how big the next planet is. This is how big the next planet is. This is how big the sun is compared to those planets. The sun's pretty big. I've heard that allegedly the sun is quite substantially bigger than earth. That's alleged. That is alleged there. I don't, don't quote me on that. I don't want to get sued by, uh, by the sun. Look, I, I genuinely don't think I can, uh, I can watch the whole video. Look, this guy goes on to, to point out a lot of very, very silly, in my opinion, things about like why the moon is fake, and why the sun is fake, and basically implies that Earth has a, th a thin layer over it, which is the sky, and it, it's actually called the firmament, which protects us from a body of water. We're actually surrounded by water in outer space, and that's why the sky is blue, and the, the sun and the moon are just a f***ing light. They actually don't exist, they're fake. And I'm not gonna turn this video into some crazy debunking the firmament thing. And I know that there's already gonna be comments of people that believe in the firmament being like, bro, he's not making a video on it because he can't disprove it. Um, and no, that's not true. I just I just don't want this video to be like two hours long. I already know people are gonna be calling me idiots in the comments and, and that's fine. Everyone is totally entitled to their own opinion. That's totally fine. Everyone should question everything and it's important not to take everything at face value. But when you get so skeptical that you don't believe anything anyone shows you ever, then it kind of closes you off from, uh, I guess, trying to see what really is fake and what really is true. You know, if you really wanted to, you could go to university and study astrophysics if you wanted. Can you imagine? going to university for like four to eight years studying astrophysics and then at the end of it they're like yeah so uh you know how you did all that that study on like space and shit and you're like yeah 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 it's actually all bullshit it's uh, the earth's actually flat but um you, we appreciate you just going into like mad debt to find that out we appreciate you know 
the student loans and all that. That's sick. Um, but yeah, we've actually all been lied to this whole time. And you've been lied to. And uh, you just got scammed. Everyone always says that it's like NASA that is lying to everybody. But I, I feel like they forget that there are multiple space agencies in, in the world. India has the ISRO and they, they have successfully sent probes into orbit. There's SpaceX, China, Russia. There, there are other people that have sent shit into space. Tens of thousands of people working on these things. You, you don't think there would be like one slip up? One guy that's like, hey bro, that's actually, that's all fucking fake. All of it. Like incomprehensible amounts of people that have worked on this stuff. How do you think a satellite phone works? Magic? It's got like a private hotline to God's 5G network. Magic would actually be pretty f***ing sick, to be honest. I mean, I mean, sometimes I genuinely do wish that that stuff was true. Like having other continents that we haven't explored yet outside of our reach that, that are ripe for exploring. I, I think that's such a sick idea. But there's so much evidence out there that shows that that, that just... That just isn't the case. Look, believe whatever you want to believe, but Dora the Explorer being blind just may be one of the dumbest theories I've ever heard in my life. Anyways, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Leave a comment of a planet if you made it this far. I hope they have a globe. <laughs> I hope it's not flat. And with that, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.